to my channel my name is destiny this is afro opinionated and in today today today's video we are going to be trying out the chocolate kinks and curls terra black clay and maki berry clay wash it's supposed to detox moisturize and strengthen this is you know that new new i did pick it up y'all i did pick it up i was feeling bad and bougie so you know i picked up this and the custard I'm going to be using the custard, but it's going to be in a separate video, so make sure that you're subscribed and have that post notifications bell turned on because y'all know I upload whenever. <laughs> Typically on Sundays and Wednesdays, or Sundays and Wednesdays and Thursdays, or Sundays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, or Saturdays. It really just depends, to be honest. I ain't going to hold you. But I'm trying to do two videos per week. There are miscreants within my household. Just <laughs> ignore them. So this is how it looks. It low-key smells like a gingerbread cookie. Hmm. Hmm. Different type of, you know, different type of scent. And the clay in here is black clay. It says for a quick but powerful cleanse, apply to wet hair for even distribution applying sections gently massage clay into scalp and smooth onto hair strands rinse thoroughly with warm water they recommend deep conditioning afterwards and then for a detox you let the clay sit in for 15 to 20 minutes so these heathens are very loud in the background so apologies if you can hear them Ooh, got the horns chocolate king sinker house is not cheap whatsoever so you know y'all might see me be a little bit more a little bit less generous with this one because sweet tea we gonna get at least three uses about it here so <laughs> and that's <laughs> that's that on that it's gonna be like my first impressions of chocolate kinks and curls so you know i hope that this is as good as everybody i'll wait because you know get on this but you know everybody act like chocolate kinks and curls is like just super super amazing so i hope you know i want to be i want to be wowed so i did want to go ahead and read the blurb that is featured on the packaging it says with very little effort the terra black clay and maki berry clay wash acts as a powerful cleanser and detoxifier eliminating impurities and product buildup while nourishing strengthening conditioning and stimulating hair growth and then you know some of the ingredients it has distilled water with maki berry extract ambuna extract calendula extract marshmallow extract terra black clay African combo butter, BTMS, behennel alcohol, satiro alcohol, maki powder, aloe powder, glycerin, grapeseed oil, cocoa butter, black seed oil, a preservative, caproglycol, and fragrance. So it has some pretty good ingredients in here and you know it shows, it shows. <laughs> this is a pretty good product overall so yeah. Okay y'all, so this one actually has a little bit of foaming action to it and I am really liking it so far. Um, I will say that it is a little bit hard to spread, like it's super thick um, and I just feel like it doesn't spread as well as some other ones do. But the, um, the slip is okay. It's not the best, but it's certainly not the worst. You could get through it. I do see my curls popping. I do see them. You feel me? I can see them for me which is great so yeah i'm just gonna apply the rest of my head and i'm actually gonna let it sit on for 20 minutes 15 20 minutes and then um yeah i'll give y'all like my final thoughts okay you guys i think my camera had cut off but yeah i was just telling y'all that um that's how much i use not much at all you can kind of see it right there it's probably about like right here so i just finished rinsing it out i did follow up with a co-wash i actually was prepared to go on with the shampoo but y'all let me tell you i am pleasantly surprised like this was actually it gave my hair a pretty clean feeling like i feel like i had like washed my hair so that was really good and i was thoroughly surprised because y'all know 
out of all the clay washes that I've tried so far, which hasn't been that many, but I only like one because only the one from Sorenzo gives me that super clean feeling. But this one does too. I am so surprised. Oh yeah, I forgot I didn't show you guys how my hair looks. This is how it looks. I actually have a little bit of curl definition, especially for me. Y'all know my hair is not really defined like that on its own. But my hair feels really good and clean. Really nice, really nice. And this mask also did give me um, curl definition too. So yeah, I think I forgot to mention that. But yeah, I enjoyed this experience and I'm kind of mad that I like it because it's expensive. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, this was pretty good. This might be one that you might actually want to apply with like soaking wet hair um so maybe like if you were in the shower or over the sink or whatever because it is a little bit hard to spread i feel like i feel like it was just a little bit hard to distribute so that's probably my only qualm with with it it did have decent slip but i just kind of like i used enough but i feel like i could have went in more and if this product wasn't as expensive as it is you know i would have went in <laughs> like i usually do Y'all know my scalp be really itching me, so I like to really coat it to, um, it just feels a lot more cooling, I guess. Not cooling, but it feels better when I kind of use more, with well, stuff of this type of texture, when I use more, it helps to relieve my scalp of that dry, itchy feeling. So yeah, my scalp has been on fire lately. When the seasons change, y'all, my skin be cutting up, my acne be cutting up, my eczema be cutting up. My scalp is itching more, so I had to go back in with Oye Faithful. I love this co-wash, y'all. It is really good. Um, but yeah, I was going to follow up with the shampoo, but I didn't even need to go out with the shampoo because this made my hair feel super clean. And it does, I, I definitely would. I'm glad that they put it on here that they would recommend that you follow with a deep conditioner because this, you don't want to skip that step with this one because it does make your hair feel like pretty clean. Well, for me at least. Um... I like this. I like this, especially because a lot of clay washes are like either bentonite or rasul clay. It is really nice to see some black clay in here. And you know, I see some really nice ingredients in here. It has Ambuna in it. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a voiceover and I should have read the ingredients, but I really like this one. I feel like it did detox. I feel like my hair has had a sense of moisture to it and it did feel strong actually so i'm kind of mad that i like this because <laughs> chocolate kings of curl is not cheap okay but i'm pleasantly surprised and it also smells it smells herbally minty kind of sweet a little fruity It doesn't remind me of anything though. Hmm. So yeah, all in all, this was a really good wash day. I'm I'm glad that I purchased this. It wasn't a waste of money. I got this in the custard for like $43, including shipping or like $43.98, something like that. But I like it. So I will be trying out the other clay washes that I'm interested in probably during Black Friday. I'm trying to be a better person. That's what I'm gonna say in terms of like buying other stuff but yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe if you've picked this one up or if you were interested in it and you've tried it already definitely let me know how you like it down below hope you guys have a blessed awesome amazing prosperous week filled with peace and i'll catch you on the next one bye